Can everybody hear me? Hey! Well, good evening, guys. Excuse me. Oh, sorry, sorry. My name is AJ Adam, and I am a big thinker scientist. I am honored to have the privilege to come out and hang out with you guys again, do some fun science with you guys again. I got to shoot some toilet papers at you guys last time, so I think I pretty much knocked off my awesomeness to a high level, right guys? Well, today we're going to have some more fun with science, and this time we're going to be studying about a special kind of matter. Now, for our show, I am, as always, going to be some volunteers. Let me tell you what I'm looking on for in a volunteer. First things first, you are seated, crisscross, applesauce, on your bottom, on the linoleum, not on the stairs. On the linoleum, not on the stairs. Very nicely done. This way, the volunteers come up, they don't squish your fingers. Second, you are very, very safe. You're using it special chemical today, and if we're not safe with it, we could get hurt. So we're definitely going to be super duper safe. And third, most important rule of all, you have to love science. I mean, you have to live and breathe science. I mean, when you see a booger, you want to know what's in it type of love, okay? Yeah, I know. So, you guys ready to get rocking? All right. So first things first, I need I need three volunteers. We need three volunteers who can help us figure out a little bit of something about matter. Let's see who's sitting really nicely. You know what? I like the way you're sitting. Fohawk, can you come up? Yes, got Fohawk coming up. And I like the way the young lady in the George Bulldog shirt is sitting. You can come up. You guys had a heartbreak not too long ago, so you can come up and make me feel better. And then. New York jury shirt right there, New York. Yes. Black sleeves. Yes. Awesome. All right. Excellent. Hello, my name is AJ. Your name is? Alex. Your name is? Jasmine. And your name is? Say it again. Jay. All right. So, my three friends up here, they're going to help us learn a little bit about matter. Now, matter matters, right, guys? Yeah? Yeah? Okay, good. Woo. Everything in our world is made of matter. The ground is made of matter. The water we drink is made of matter. The air we breathe is made of matter. And if we were able to look at that matter really closely, can anyone tell me what we would see? What would that matter be made up of? Does anyone know that word? Shout out for me. Atoms! You're a genius. I love it. Excellent. They're made of atoms. Very nice to So our friends up here, you guys are going to be atoms. Can you guys say, hello, atoms? Excellent. And depending on the type of matter, the atoms in that matter a little bit different. So let's think first. Let's think. The ground is a special kind of matter. What kind of matter is that, guys? Thank you over here. Solid matter. So atoms. I would like for you guys to demonstrate solid matter. How should they demonstrate solid matter, guys? Squish together. Okay, so squish together as tight as possible. He doesn't have cooties, I promise. Okay, good, good, good. They're all squished together. If you look, there's no space between them. They can barely move. Tree squished out in the middle, right? Yeah, yeah, very nicely done. Good, good, good. So when we're talking about solid matter, we're talking about matter whose atoms are super duper squished together. All right, let's think about water. What kind of matter is water? Tell me. Excellent. And liquid matter, does it look like solid matter? What do its atoms look like? Further apart. I can tell you guys are such geniuses. So now, I want you guys to demonstrate to us liquid matter. What are you going to do? You guys are going to hold hands. She doesn't have any to check. Just hold. Yeah, go ahead. Don't worry. Nobody's going to say anything. Maybe not today, tomorrow. All right. And so now I want you guys to show us liquid matter by doing one of my favorite dance moves. Okay, I'm going to show this to you, but you can only do it now. Don't steal it. It's my signature. You ready? You go like this. Oh, yeah. You see it? Oh, yeah. They're looking really liquidy now. And so that ability for them to move means that liquid matter takes the shape of the container. Look at this container. Is the liquid inside of there a square? No, it's the shape of the container. What if this container were a circle? What shape would our liquid be? What if this container were a square? What if this container were a dodecahedron? Nicely done. Your parents are so confused. That's 12 sides, parents. 12 sides. Back and forth grade and get it. Okay. Very nicely done. All right. And now, we've done solid matter. We've done liquid matter. What's the last one left? Gas matter. Now I want you to wait, wait. I want you guys to demonstrate weight. You're going to be gas matter. I want you to give off any gas matter, okay? You're just going to be gas matter. You guys do that? Okay. We got to clarify. All right. So now, I want you guys to show us gas matter. 
everybody spreading out as much as you can. Spread out as much as you can. Good. Then fill up the whole stage. Fill it up. Fill it up. Fill it up. And since you have so much space, you can actually move real fast. You can get it Yeah, get it in. Get it in. Whoa. Good. 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 So now we've seen the difference between solid matter, liquid matter, and gas matter. Are my atoms awesome? Can you give my atoms a big hand? Because they just finished up. And Adam, you can have a seat, but not before you take the time series pencil. Listen, this is not a snack. It's not a drumstick. It's for homework. It makes cool science drawings. All right, here we go. Excellent. You guys can have a seat. Okay, good. So now we've got matter out of the way. I have a question for you. Let's say I am an ice cube. I'm super cool, right? Because <laughs> I'm an ice cube. Nothing. Jokes are wasted on the youth. All right, so I'm an ice cube, but I'm tired of all my atoms being squished together. I want to become water. What do I have to do to become water? Just sat it out. Yep. I got to get heat. I got to get heat. What is it called when an ice cube goes to liquid? Oh, I'm hurt. <laughs> Melting. Very nicely done. Okay, so I've melted down the water. The water. And you know what? My atoms are still too close. I want to be gas now. How do I go from liquid to gas? <laughs> You're a genius. Your mom should get a hand clap for that one. Very nice. Gun. Evaporates. Okay, good. So we have melting and evaporation. All right, so now all my atoms are spread out so far apart. I kind of want them back together. I kind of want to be a liquid again. Oh, that's a tricky one. How do you go from a gas to a liquid? What word is that? Condensation is right, organ part. Very nicely done. Okay, so that means that you can totally tell me that when I'm a liquid and I want my atoms even closer, I want to be a solid, what I need to do? Freeze! Genius. We have melting, freezing, we have evaporation, condensation. Here's the tricky one. You guys are geniuses. Maybe you can figure this out. I am a solid. I want to become a gas. I don't even want to go through the liquid phase. I want to go from solid to gas. Does anyone know what that's called? Anybody? Shout it out, anybody? Hot boil. No. no. Smelting? It's going different. It's a little bit different. All right, I'm going to teach you guys a word that's going to make you so much smarter than your parents. They're going to blow their mind. Sublimation. Can you guys shout that back to me? Excellent. Sublimation happens when you go from a solid to a gas. Now, I brought along with me a special chemical that does that. Would you guys like to see it? All right. Now this chemical is very special. In fact, it's very cool. It's so cold, it could freeze my fingers. So in order to be safe, I have to put on my safety glove, okay? So I've got my safety glove on, and I'm gonna write in. Whoa! I know. Make some good observation, guys. What does this look like to you? Dry eyes. You guys are geniuses. Wait a minute. You guys brought me here to teach you about this, you already knew? That's okay, I just was it really cool, right guys? Good, so this is dry ice. Dry ice is frozen at negative 109 degrees Fahrenheit. Quick, what temperature does ice freeze at? And right here in the front for 32 degrees! Very nicely done, take a quick little bit all the way right there in your seat, very nicely done. 32 degrees, so our dry ice is how many degrees colder? Oh, a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 140 degrees cold. Okay? We're talking about freezing our fingers. So we're going to wear our gloves to be safe. Now, if you look really close, you guys see something coming off my eyes? It's a what? It's a what? Shout out when you're right. You're supposed to be loud with it. You're supposed to go, yes! Very nicely done. It is a gas. In fact, all of you guys have this gas right inside of you. Don't go. Don't go. Just tell you. Let it out, okay, let me tell you, okay. It's in your lungs, it's in your lungs. Everyone blow air out. Oh, man, I smell a lot of popcorn and lunch. Ooh, okay, yeah. Well, in that smelly air that you guys blew out was carbon dioxide. If you freeze it at negative 109 degrees, you get this stuff. Now, let's experiment a little bit with this stuff. And for my experiment, I need a very brave volunteer. I'm talking super duper brave. I'm talking about you squish spiders without even blinking brave. Are you pretty brave? Is that one direction of your teacher? All right, I'll let you come up. You can go down your teacher. <laughs> All right, so wait a minute. What grade are you in? Are you 12th or 5th grader? Okay. I thought I was short for an adult. Okay, come this way, come this way. What's your name? Maggie, nice to meet you. 
meet you. I'm AJ. First of all, lovely earrings and for all later. Now, Maggie, you said you're super brave, right? Yeah, so you can do anything I can do, right? Yeah, in fact, anything I can do, you can do better, right? <laughs> you have no idea what that is. It's okay. Parents. All right, so now, let's see how brave you are. You stand right there into this container, which, to solve the mystery, is full of water and, you know, yellow food dye. Yellow food dye. Brilliantly done. You cook at home. This one cooks at home. Whoever's mom it is, let her cook. All right, good. So yellow food coloring and water. And to it, we are going to add a little piece of our ice. Okay, so we got our ice going in there. Huh? Does everyone see our gas that is forming? Very nicely done. Now, I'm great, right, Max? Okay, good. So I'm going to take my hand, I'm going to wave it right over top of this gas. Remember that the ice that this gas came from was negative 109 degrees. Okay, so it's super cold. So I want you to do the same thing now. Is that gas super cold? Hmm, strange, right? Well, let's take a look at our gas. You guys see that our bubbles are forming and they're shooting right through our water, right? Yeah, so as they go through our water, that gas gets warmer, so it's taking the temperature of the water. Okay. That was kind of brave, but um, let's go to super brave. Now, believe it or not, you can find this gas somewhere else. We already said in our lungs. But somewhere else you can find it. I'll give you a hint. They're sugary and sweet, and they're bubbly, and they make it burn. Soda! Oh, we can do a Japanese gas. Let's do it. All right, good. Soda. Very good. Now, this gas is the gas that makes up soda. So that means that I can take this container and I can go. That kind of tastes like a burger. All right, you ready now? Yep, she looks horrified. Like, I didn't sign up to do this. All right, ready. Right, you're going to listen. I know you're not a kindergartner, but sometimes kindergartners come here and they go, I did it! No, that's not doing it. Okay, you're going to like a straw. Okay, ready? Oh, man! I five for that one. So, how are you feeling? How did it taste? Not too much, right? A little weird. Now, the more of this gas you get in your mouth, the more it tastes kind of like a burp or like Sprite with no sugar. Because when you burp after soda, that's what you're burping up, that carbon dioxide. Pretty cool stuff. You are pretty brave. Can we give her a really big hand for her break? Well, thank you. We've seen now that our carbon dioxide, I mean our dry ice can sublimate, forming a really nice amount of carbon dioxide. Let's use that carbon dioxide for another experiment. This time, I need a volunteer who has a very strong thumb. Okay. I know, all the boys are like, I play PSP every day. Pick me. My thumbs are super strong. Are your thumbs super strong? Yeah? He's like, dude, yes. Okay. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, welcome, AJ. What's your name? Jonathan, Jonathan, come on over. So, Jonathan, you say your thumbs are super strong. Yeah, really strong because you're doing like this all day, right? Yeah, okay, good, good, good. See, we need your super strong thumbs because we're gonna use our dry ice to create a lot of pressure, a lot of pressure. Now, raise your hand if you heard that word pressure before. Good, pressure is like a pushing force, a pushing force. Now, we're talking about physics pressure, not the pressure your parents feel. That's completely different. You'll find out when you get older. But a pushing force. We're going to use that pushing force to our advantage. You ready? You warming up your thumbs? Yeah, I see it. I see it. Your thumbs warm. All right, so now we're going to use this container. And if you notice, this container looks a little bit different than our first one. This container has this glass part inside. You guys see that? Yeah, we call that part of arm. That arm is going to be very, very important in our experience. So now, we're going to take a piece of our ice and we're going to put it right there inside of our container. And AJ, I should probably put it right below. My thumb's on the other side. Okay, so we'll put in that piece. And you know what? A good measure, we'll put in that one. That's awesome. And maybe something like you will put in that one. So good. You guys see that we have a ton of gas forming, right? Yeah. So now what we're going to do is we're going to trap this gas. Anyone else trap gas? Anybody raise your hand? Got to trap gas? Just hold it to the end of the show and let it go right now. Okay. So now we're going to trap our gas inside of our container. And if you look now, where's the gas coming out? The arm. The arm. And what do you guys think? Hypothesize. What would happen if I covered up that arm? It would explode. Should we try it? Okay, so they say it's going to explode. You can run really fast, right? 
Good. Okay, good. You're multi talented. Thumbs in. Right. All right, here we go. Three, four, one. Oh, maybe nothing's going to happen. Oh, well. Well, at least we tried these. Oh!
y'all got to pay me more.
if you tell them it's in the name of science and you're really good and eat your homework and do your veggies, I mean, do your homework and eat your veggies, then maybe they will experiment with you guys. I have one more experiment I'd like you guys to do, okay? It involves all of you guys. I want you guys to hold your hands out, bring them close together, make a clap noise, keep making a clap noise. Give yourselves a round of applause because you guys were awesome. Thank you so much. I'm going to turn it over, and you guys have a great rest of the night. Guys, give Big Thinkers another round of applause. She was very good under the circumstances. I'm sorry for